Uh, yeah, my name is Alex Robertson. I'm the um, general manager of Vestas Taiwan. Um, yeah, responsible for Vestas' operations here in Taiwan. About 150 employees, so a number of different factories for our local supply chain. We have our service operations for onshore and constructing uh, 1.2 gigawatts of offshore projects. So that's uh, and of course, getting ready for the next round of future projects as well with uh, future turbines. Taiwan's transition to renewable energy is ambitious. It's always been ambitious. Uh, and it's been ambitious in terms of scale and speed and also in terms of localization and cost. Last year, uh, Orsted highlighted uh, this famous trilemma of offshore wind, which is the fact that offshore wind in Taiwan has three very difficult elements. Uh, high levels of localization, some of the highest in the world, um, small project sizes, just 500 megawatts, and a very, very low, and I would say unrealistic, maximum bid level of 2.49 Taiwan dollars. And this is the so-called trilemma. So Vestas, together with a number of our partners in the industry, are, are trying to come up with an answer to the trilemma. We're very, very focused on, on, on moving forward, on, on, uh, on, on solving problems. And, and uh, that's what we call the 444 plan. Fa 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 ji hua. Uh, uh, so, to take the topics one by one, project size. Clearly 500 megawatts is not state of the art. European projects are well over one gigawatt in size, some of them two plus. So the, stat, the project size cap for the auction should be changed from 500 megawatts to one gigawatt. That's the first, uh, and we should build four of them. And we believe, believe the industry can build four one gigawatt projects with the same supply chain challenges as building six 500 megawatt projects, and we can do it at lower cost. So that's the first four, four times one, uh, one gigawatt. The second four is the bid level. You can't build offshore wind projects of any size for 2.49 Taiwan dollars. It doesn't work. You need more. And we need to discourage speculation. So we believe that the maximum bid level in the auction should be ranged, raised to four Taiwan dollars, which will allow people to build on a solid business case, uh, to bid with a solid business case in the auction. And the final point is on localization. Currently, there are a number of monopolistic suppliers uh, uh, who are the, uh, the only supplier of the component in Taiwan. And that doesn't lead to competitiveness. It doesn't motivate uh, the uh, competitiveness and, and uh, bringing down costs and becoming export competitive. So we propose um, making um, all of the localization um, optional, um, all optional for localization, but assigning them points like many other localization markets in the world. So you still have to hit the same volume of localization, but you can pick and choose the most competitive areas to deliver it. And that's the, that's the third four of our plan, uh, all optional for localization. Yeah, and together we think this is really we're, we're, is what's needed to get the uh, Taiwan offshore wind to fulfill its full potential. And the potential is huge.